Hi, fifth grade scientists. So this week we're going to take a talk about another form of energy. We're talk, talking about sound energy. So sound energy, everybody likes. Everybody likes music. Everybody likes to turn on their favorite music, sit back, relax, and just enjoy. And so we're going to get into the science behind music or sound. So hopefully you had the opportunity to watch the Scholastic Study Jams about sound. If you haven't, I encourage you to go ahead and stop the video and go ahead and watch that before we talk about these things because these are all the topics that they talked about in the video. All right, so what is sound energy? Well, sound energy is, um, it's already built up inside of an object. It, that's the potential energy inside the object or the matter. And it's released when a, an applied force happens and it lets out that those vibrations or those waves. So sound energy is a form of energy that travels by way of vibrations or waves. So you remember in one of the other study jam videos that we um, watched, um, they were at a restaurant and uh, the boy in the video accidentally knocked a glass off of the table. And as the glass was falling, we didn't hear anything, but as it hit the ground, we heard a crash or we heard a clink. And um, so that released that energy. And those vibrations then left the floor or the broken glass and vibrated up to our ear. So you'll think, if you think about cartoons or um, comic strips, a lot of times the sound will be um, represented by little lines away from whatever object is um, made the noise and it goes up to someone's ear and that's just the cartoonist or the person who drew the comic strip that's their way of represented representing those vibrations or waves so they get that actually from something that's scientific um, all right so what is a vibration so we talked about it up here. So what exactly is it? It's the moving molecules in solids, liquids, and gases that carry the sound. So we all know that molecules move in different ways in the different states of matter. So we know that solids, the molecules are really tightly packed. And in liquids, they're a little um, looser packed. And then in gases, they're just going all over the place. They're um, very far apart and so the vibrations will happen in the different states of matter in different ways according to the way that the molecules are in that that form of matter all right so what is an echo an echo is re a reflected sound energy and another thing that you'll notice too in different cartoons or comic strips the sound waves will be like this and then they'll come back um, when it hits something like a mountain. That's when we see a lot of um, representation of an echo is like when they're near a mountain or a hill. And it's something that it hits an object and then comes back off of that object. Okay, decibels. Well, what's a decibel? We learned that a decibel is the measurement used to measure the loudness of sound. So they talked about how different um, sounds have are different decibels. All right, pitch. Pitch is the highness or lowness of a sound. So if you, if you know anything about instruments, if you're playing a piccolo um, or it's kind of a smaller flute and you play that, it has a very high pitch, a very high sound. And then if you um, know anything about like the um, bass guitar or um, an alto sax, it has a lower sound, okay? Or a, a bass, um, a cello also has a lower sound. So sometimes you'll hear instruments that have a very high pitch and then some instruments have a very low pitch. All right, frequency. The frequency is the number of times a sound wave repeats in a second. So that would be the frequency. So if it repeats uh, very quickly, then it would have a high frequency. If it 
repeat slowly, then it would have a low frequency. So these are all different things that we've learned from the video, and we're going to re review and come back to those. So I have for you today a paper, and it has four of the words that we talked about right here and the, their definitions, and you need to match those. Then at the bottom, they're using this graphic organizer, and you'll notice that these are blank, and you'll, ha you'll have words on a separate page. And this looks very familiar, I hope. This is just like what we did with our interactive notebook. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut around the dotted lines, but you will not cut the solid line. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate and cut around just the dotted lines and show you how this should look when you are getting ready to put it over top of the other page. So these are gonna act like little windows and you're gonna use or you're gonna draw some illustrations to help you remember each one of these vocabulary words. And you can either get ideas from the video that you watched or ideas that you have just that will help you remember the definitions. So you're gonna go all the way, when you're cutting this, you're gonna go all the way up to the solid line, but don't cut through the solid line. So when you're finished, you'll have these little windows that you're gonna be able to flip up and look underneath, okay? So then it's gonna look like this, and right here on the back, you're gonna make a thin line of glue. Okay, so I've got my glue stick here. I'm gonna make a thin line of glue across. Now, if you don't have a glue stick, if you just have Elmer's glue, that's fine. Or even if you wanna get some tape, and I'll show you how to do the tape in just a second here. And then when you put this over top, okay, it's gonna look like this. So if you tape, you're gonna to wanna to tape just at the very top to keep that down, okay? And so then you're gonna draw an illustration, like you're gonna draw something to help you remember sound energy, okay? And you'll draw that underneath. And you could even do, if you wanted to write the definition and then draw a picture, that would be fine too. So then we've got sound energy and vibrations, echo and decibels. So you're gonna draw something underneath there um, to remind yourself of each one. So when you're finished with this page, and you have to put your name at the top too, when you're finished with this page, what you'll do is you'll take a picture of this or upload it, and this will be your first assignment for this week, okay? All right, so um, also you can use this information too if you wanna to refer to this so if you wanna go back and pause the video and use these definitions to help you find the answers to the top part, that would be fine too. All right, so if you haven't watched the Study Jams video yet, I encourage you to watch that because it's a good one. Okay, if you have any questions, you can always email me and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I want you to remember, keep learning, keep thinking, Stay curious, and I'll see you tomorrow.